Hi, welcome back to the channel. I had a space in my compacts collection and I thought why not pick up this, the Bolacan Prairie. It's based on a Hyundai car called the Coupe in some parts of the world including the UK and the Tiburon in other parts of the world including the States. You can pick these up for free from the street, although I shamefully spent actual money on it because I was impatient. And stock, you've seen looking at the photos, it looks quite like the real car. But I don't want this one stock. I'm putting it in a row of customised compacts, so let's see what we can do. I'm going to do this in a semi-live setting. I will edit out some of it to make it not too long. I don't do the armour and the bulk of the performance upgrades on cars that I think will mainly be static, so I'll just skip most of those, except for the engine, which I nearly always just take to stage four. I'll show you all the exhaust options here. When I looked at pictures of the real car, the exhausts don't come out from the centre, they do come out from the back corners, so that does limit what you pick. So I picked one of the sportier ones coming out of the corners here, these wide mitre exhausts. I like my cars to be real world examples as you know and I found an image of one that I quite wanted to copy. Uh, I can't show it to you because it was a licensed image but the hood on it was painted body colour and I have picked a particularly interesting colour for the car so although we have these carbon hoods available I didn't really want carbon. The one on the car that I picked actually had some triangular cutouts in which look really good but they're not available here unfortunately. So after some deliberation and to get as close as possible to the one I was trying to copy, I went with these combination vents. I left the horn and the lights as standard. I'm not going to use a livery, but I thought you might like to look at them. In my How to Paint Crew Colours video, I mentioned Custom Cars of GTA is a good website for some colour ideas. And I wanted an especially bright green, so I got one from there. The video is linked down below, as is the hex. And now it's time to see what it looks like. Well, I'm very pleased with that, and that's the advantage, of course, of taking somebody else's hex. No experimentation, it just looks great. I knew I wanted a really gold-looking pearlescent that would really stand out in the sun. I spent a long time experimenting, and in the end, bright orange actually worked the best of everything. Next came skirts, which when I remembered, I must have missed the bumpers right at the beginning. I bet you spotted that. As you can see, there's a good selection of bumpers here. The one I was copying stayed mainly green on its various sills, extensions and skirts, which I wanted to copy. I also wanted to have the various shapes cut in that were on that particular one. The closest one seemed to be the Mark III tuner bumper, which had all the various shapes and grills that I acquired, only it did have the canards, so I'm not too sure about those. I wasn't initially sure about the back bumper, whether to have it with the green piece without or just stock. So I just left that one and carried on going down and had a good look at the skirts. Quite a selection, although not all that different from each other apart from really the big decision of body colour or carbon. In the end I went custom skirts one, but now I realise I really do need something green at the back of the car toward ground level. So I actually went back to the bumpers and picked that second or rather the third one, the custom diffuser and tow hook, so I could have that green on there. Now for a run through of the available spoiler options. So that's quite nice and subtle. That wing, not sure that looks right at all from any angle. The race spoiler looks nice and that flush line definitely looks nice. The drag ones may be a little bit bigger than I was going for. In the end I went with this race spoiler as being a nice shape, not too big, and to at least give me some bits of contrast with the green. Competition suspension is fine, it's not too low, it looks perfect. I skipped the wheels for the moment and went for the tints where I thought a dark smoke would again provide some nice contrast, give the custom look, then back to the wheels. And this is where I have edited minutes out of the video because it took me such a long time. I fell in love with these, the ground ride wheels from the sport category. Then it just came down to colour. I knew I pretty well wanted black. I think that looks superb. I did try a few other options like a dark green, but I soon put it back to black and the build was finished. Let's take her out and have a look. Oh, with the sun on it as well. I think that looks superb, except for the canards. I wasn't too sure when I put them on and none of the customised Hyundai Coupes online I saw had them. So let's go straight back in and I'm going to go for one of my other choices which was this Mark II tuner bumper. I do think the grille is a bit too wide but otherwise it does suit my build the best. 
Well, finally finished and I'm blown away how good a free car can look and by the amount of customization that Rockstar are giving us for this car. So we've got a great look, we better go and see how it drives. For real and in the game it's front wheel drive so most of your takeoffs are accompanied by quite a lot of wheel spin and initially when you corner you can find the car rather understeery heading towards the far pavement and you may initially think it's not that exciting and in fact in trying to provoke some excitement I crash it very soon so let's take it onto the track. We'll get the bad news out of the way first which is just not very quick in a straight line. My best lap was 1 minute and 8 which is about the same as the Buccaneer was last week. Watch this corner. Now that looks a lot more exciting than just understeering and effectively this car is an absolute beast for lift off oversteer. In other words, if you let go of the accelerator a lot heading into the corner, maybe you give one of those little Scandinavian flicks turning the wrong way first, or even a little tiny tap of the handbrake, albeit not on track, any of those will get the back out into an extremely controllable slide. I'm only driving on a keyboard and these slides are nice and easy to control. And so, in fact, the car can end up quite a lot of fun. Now I don't think we buy these cars really for driving, they are static uh, garage examples but even so if you've got to move it from garage to garage you'll have a laugh so a free car with a ton of customization some decent real world looks and it's okay to drive i highly recommend picking up this car please do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and as always thank you so much for watching